Hello everyone, it's Leo and I am super happy and excited to share that we finally have the designs and the voice actors for the Amazon Quartage for Sailor Moon Eternal, the movies. Oh my god, I'm super happy with this. I love those four characters very, very much. And girl, their designs are fire. The voice actors are also amazing. So just like we did in the video that we talked about the Amazon Trio and their voice actors, let's do it with this one. They released, they were released in the same way. We can see the designs and also their voice actors. Oh my God, said it, said it, girl, you look awesome. This design is everything. And uh, they also left a message uh, on the official website and on the Twitter accounts that we're going to talk about. Obviously, we're going to talk about some characters that uh, they also did while sharing this. So first, let's start with Sere Sere, the first one, probably kind of like a leader to them. I believe she's just like kind of a, the counterpart of Sailor Venus. Yes, Sere Sere is going to be played by Uedarena. And Uedarena is particularly a character that I really enjoy because a, a person that I really enjoy because she voiced Shirogane Lily in Aikatsu Stars. She is an amazing character. Her voice is really beautiful. She also voiced uh, Duty from Dr. Stone, which is a very popular show, a very popular shonen manga, and also a very popular anime. So, you know, this girl, this woman, not a girl, a woman, is talented. And she obviously left a message. So she said that she was very happy to be part of Eternal, but she also felt the responsibility of the role. She shared that when she was younger, she had a Sailor Moon DVD and watched it over and over again. And she remembers the scenes up until today. She said that she felt like a senshi, a guardian, when she watched it as a child. She describes Sere Sere as a very feminine and gentle woman with a gorgeous visual, but with some cool moments in which she could show her confidence. She says the four of them did their best while trying to convey the emotions and individuality of each character. I love how they show their passion for the Sailor Moon franchise. They always say something like this. Now, let us, let us go to the cutest baby, Pala Pala or Para Para. And we have this. Uh, Morohoshi Sumire is going to be Para Para. And, you know... She is a voice actor that is very much well known for her role as the queen. Hoshimiya Ichigo, our dear main character from the Aikatsu franchise. She was the first Aikatsu uh, main character and, you know, she is still in our hearts a queen. And she also played lots of roles inside the other se seasons of Aikatsu and lately... She's been playing a great character in Haikyuu, the volleyball anime, which I love, which is Yachi. And she also plays Kagemori Michiru in Brand New Animal and Hinami in Tokyo Ghoul, another personal favorite of mine. I love Hinami. She's one of my favorite Tokyo Ghoul characters. Obviously, this woman is really, really talented as well. So this is what she had to say about playing this role. She mentions that Sailor Moon is a franchise that is loved by many even before she was born. Girl, are you trying to humiliate us? She remembers playing the Nintendo game as a kid, and she also mentions that she felt happy, and she also felt the responsibility of the role when she was chosen. While being the youngest of the Amazonist Quartet, she wanted to portray her in a way everybody would love, even if she is a villain, highlighting her innocence and childhood. She also mentions she played a lot with her emotions and expressions of this endearing character. So I cannot wait to see them because probably they're going to have lots of characteristics and lots of impact while uh, being shown in this movie. So girl, I just cannot wait. Now let's go to Jun Jun, our green queen. I also love her. I love her design. Girl is everything. So... Jun Jun is going to be played by Hara Yuko, and Hara Yuko uh, played a character called Akari Akura in an anime called Hitsugi no Chiaka. It's this character. I have never seen this show, but I already love her green hair. I love dark, hair, dark green in hair like this. I really like it. And she also played a minor character in Happiness Charge Precure, who is 
Hitomi. I'm going to be very honest and say I don't even remember her. Even Happiness Charge being one of the most, my most favorite seasons. I don't remember this girl. I'm sorry. Anyways, what she had to say is another, she is also another Sailor Moon fan. And she remembers that when she was younger, she had lots of Sailor Moon costumes and played with them. When she passed the audition, she couldn't believe she was part of such a masterpiece. And she only believed it when she actually got the script. She mentions that Junjun has a hot temper and tried to make her full of energy since they're part of a circus troupe. She says it was a very exciting work and can't wait for people's hearts to be touched in the cinemas. Yes, girl, I'm pretty sure this movie is going to be everything. I mean, I'm loving so much those designs. Girl, I'm living. And now to our red girl, Vez Vez, with the whip. Obviously, whips always remind me of Poison from Street Fighter. I love Poison. So let's talk about this queen. She is going to be voiced by Takahashi Die, and she is known for us Precure fans because she is no one other than our girl, Cure Miracle, the main character from Mahotsukai Precure. Yes, she is a lead in a Precure season, and now she is going to become a character in Sailor Moon. Let's not spoil anything here. She also plays Amelia in a very popular show, Re Zero, Re Zero, Re Zero. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I oh, I watched the first season of this show. I'm not watching the second one, but I watched the first. And Amelia is a very popular character. This show is also very popular. So this woman right here is also very talented, a queen in her voice acting skills. She says that when she was a child, she also played the Sailor Moon game, most specifically the Sailor Moon S game, and she was honored only by being able to audition to such an important franchise. She mentions the beauty and the red hair of her character and also her ability with the whip, so she brought a lot of heat to her acting. She said the four of them worked very, very well together to bring those characters to life. And... Um, well, those are the messages of the four girls that are playing the Amazonas Quartet in Sailor Moon Eternal. And if you've only seen Sailor Moon Supers, I'm just going to say that in the movie that is probably going to follow the manga very closely, just like Sailor Moon Crystal is doing, those four have kind of a different role and their role is very, very important. Important. So if you don't want spoilers, don't look it up. So please don't leave comments spoiling things for people that haven't read the manga and want surprises when watching the movie. Please don't leave any spoilers in the comment section. I am very, very excited to see them. I really love them and their designs as well. So I did this little comparison to their designs of the manga on Twitter. So this is Sere Sere, my particular fave out of the four of them. I really love her pink design. And girl, I am loving how they adapted her. She looks very pure and cute. Oh God, I just cannot wait to see her in action. This is Junjun. Junjun also looks gorgeous. You can really see that their costumes are very, very, very similar to the counterparts of the manga. The details are all the same. Like they really got like everything together. Obviously, it's not exactly the same, but all the details are there. You know, it's a different representation of the same character, but all the details, all the little things are there as we can see here. Oh God, this is gonna be fire. Uh, Pala Pala is our cute girl. She is very adorable and they kept like almost every, I think every single detail of her costume, like the balls in the shoes, Almost, even the hair, uneven hair, like her hair starts here, they kept it on the design of the movie. Girl, I just love this so much. And this, um, this, this, yes, this, this, with the whip, I just can't wait. This is going to be very, very good. I think this movie is going to bring it. Now, now I'm excited. You know, I was trying to hold my breath. I was trying to say like, Girl, let's wait and see. I'm still not hooked on the animation. I'm pretty sure the animation is going to be pretty weak. We're talking about Toy and we're talking about Studio Dean. So, you know, let's wait and see. Not holding my breath. 
but at least the designs are there. At least the designs are there. I really like them. Girl, um, I just can't wait. And I really love the Amazon Quartet. I just cannot wait to see them in action. Oh, yes. And uh, if you haven't seen, uh, if you haven't read the manga, I'm just going to say this. They play a bigger role than the Amazon Trio. Like, way bigger role than the Amazon Trio. Because in the Supers anime season, we see them, like, with even roles. Uh, the three of them in the first half and the four of them in the second half. So now it's not going to be like that. They're going to be present since the start of the movie. Like, they're... I, I consider them like main villains of this saga. They're going to be there every single time. They're going to be very important for lots of things that happen in Sailor Moon Eternal. So they're going to be huge. They are going to be huge. And, you know, those designs are fire. The voice actors are also very talented. So I can just say I'm excited and I'm pretty sure this is going to be everything we asked for and even a little more, maybe? I don't know. I just want to say that I'm very excited. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. Any more news, I'm going to come right here and say it. We still don't have the voice actors for Zirconia, Neherenia, and maybe some minor villains that should appear as well. So when they're here, I'll be sure to tell you. Anyways, that is all. Please leave a comment with your takes and your opinions on their designs and their voice actors. And let's keep talking in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.